Hey guys, so today I'm taking you to my assistant and friend Allie's house. So she has agreed to let me come into her house and do a little refresh called Your House Just Better. I'm gonna be going into her house and just using what she already owns, taking things from different rooms and literally just shopping her house and spending zero dollars. Gonna give her living room a little refresh from a decorator's eye without spending any money. I wear a lot of hats. While most of you know me as an interior decorator, that's just one of the many balls I juggle. <laughs> balls. That's what makes life so interesting, right? It's crazy and messy and fun. Sometimes it smells. Some days we're living our best life and others we're just doing the best we can. So get in here. This is Kismet House. Hello! Brody! Hey girl! Welcome. Yes! Welcome to my house. <laughs> left for the day and she's left me in charge and when she gets back her living room is going to be totally refreshed it's going to be her house just better but don't worry if you're a thrifted queen fan that means you're also a fan of the pyrex nothing is happening to this part of the room it's perfect my pyrex game is not this strong this will not be touched so don't worry that's safe First things first is I'm going to take all of the personal things off of the shelves, mantle, everything so I can have a clean slate. It's a lot easier to refresh a space if you aren't already held captive to an idea of what it's supposed to look like. And I just want to let you guys know, it doesn't matter how many times you've decorated or redecorated a room, even for me, I have to trial and error it. So I'm gonna have to actually physically see the things move to different spaces. And there might be times where I cringe and I'm like, this was a terrible idea, why did I put this here? So just know that it takes trial and error, even for the most experienced of us. So don't give up if the first new configuration you try doesn't work. Okay guys, so my favorite trick for dealing with the back seam of a sectional is a throw blanket. Sounds super simple, but get yourself a thick, hearty throw blanket so it doesn't get shuffled or moved around when people sit on the couch. Like this is a really thick, heavy wool Moroccan blanket and it'll stay in place and hide this seam so you don't have to deal with looking at it. It's just not pretty. I mean, it's not a big deal, but it's just not pretty. Let me just show you the difference with and without. Allie's already doing this really well, um, but with a gallery ledge, you do not want to do that stair stack effect to where there's the highest in the middle and it slowly goes out to the sides, making it look like a pitch roof. You want to disperse the height across the board and using a balance of pictures side by side and that pictures stacked on top of each other is the way to give it the most interest. So play with depth with the stacking the pictures together and play with height all the way across the ledge. So the biggest transformation in this space is that we made this the focal wall. Before your eye wanted to go to the gallery ledge because there was just nothing but white wall on either side of the fireplace, but it's the first wall that you see when you walk into the house so you want it to make an impact.
taking flowers from your yard or your neighbor's yard is totally free and it's a perfect way to bring life into a space. I am all for bringing flowers, real plants, foam plants, just bring life into your space. So the biggest change we made in the space was the arrangement of the furniture. So at first glance, it doesn't seem all that much different, but what we did was we scooted the couch back. We took the record player that was behind it and put it to the wall next to the fireplace. By scooting the couch back, the room looks so much bigger just because we're taking much more advantage of the actual footprint of usable space for where the furniture could be. As far as the layout of the chairs, they're in the same spot in front of the bay window, but I put them closer together. So there is, they're a more cohesive vignette because there's only room for a table and then this stool for them to share. Before it was, they were further apart, so you could fit much more than just this table between them. So it just makes it feel a little bit more intimate and it lets the window nook kind of hide. But when you really look back there and see all the little pillows and things, it kind of feels like a sweet surprise. Allie already has a huge collection of records. She has a vintage record player that she actually uses and listens to. It's not just for looks. And she has a huge record collection. So we picked some really cool record sleeves to frame and put over that to kind of like really give it a moment. So it is its own fun focal point in the room. And then we moved her lamp to the other side of the room to kind of, so it didn't have to be symmetrical, but there was balance. Um, as far as the picture ledge is concerned, we just added a couple new frames on there to bring in that black element to kind of let that fireplace be more of a part of the room. And then we added some black pillows and some bold white and black pillows to kind of just really bring in that high contrast to go with all of the fun pops of color. So when you have a style that's this fun and this bold, you have to give your eye time to rest. There has to be calm moments in the space. And so that's why you can't have nothing but colorful pillows and nothing but colorful art. You have to incorporate some neutrals to kind of calm it down so the really fun, bold pieces can shine. So Allie calls these her tchotchke dolls. One of them was from her grandma. It's an antique. She got it after she passed away and she got another one when she just traveled to Japan this summer. She had them together on the mantle, but I think they're the most precious and special little things and I think they each kind of deserve their own moment. So I made them their own focal point in different vignettes. Allie had kind of asked like my thought process on separating them and it's because sometimes things make a bigger impact when they're by themselves. When things are set in collections, they just become a collection, but when something is on its own, it gets its own moment to be special. Okay, Allie, move, Matt, bus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jay, oh. what do you think? How are we feeling? I cannot believe this is my stuff. It still feels oh, like home though, right? I, yeah. Your yeah. house, just better. <laughs> wow, oh my gosh. Yay, I'm so excited that you this like was it. This my office. Yes, it was, and this Brody was in your best. bedroom. Oh, yes. Um, so I've been everywhere, nice. you're welcome. We're very close. Oh, they look so much better there. Yay. Oh, I love it. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this takeover. Hit like and subscribe for more on this channel. And if you could leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite part of the makeover was, what you feel like had the best impact, I would love it. See you later.